A new fulfillment center could come to Tallahassee and bring thousands of jobs with it. The distribution center was the focal point of an Office of Economic Vitality meeting just hours ago. ABC 27's Jada Williams was at that meeting today. And Jada, what kind of impact could Project Mango have? Ava, the Office of Economic Vitality says that Project Mango could bring in $451 million, but just because the county is planning for it doesn't mean that fulfillment center could even come here. Somewhat limited in terms of how much detail we can give about the project, but it's a it's also sometimes known as a distribution center for a large company that ships a lot of goods. Only known as Project Mango, the Hush Hush Fulfillment Center project could bring 1,000 jobs starting at $15 an hour. But exact details on who and what Project Mango is won't be readily available. The company, which has requested confidentiality under state law, which they're able to do, uh, actually named it. Tallahassee is a finalist to be the home of the fulfillment center more than a year in the making. That would go between I-10 and Mayhan Drive. A lot of times business decisions on location are made by the company. They identified this as a, as a location adjacent to a number of transportation facilities like the interstate that really worked for them. The Office of Economic Vitality met Monday afternoon to discuss its role in making sure that company feels at home here in Tallahassee, pledging a multi-million dollar recruitment effort that would be the largest in the county's history. Pretty immediately that will have an economic impact, a benefit of almost half a billion dollars for Tallahassee Leon County. Now the community prepares while the unknown forces behind Project Mango continue to make its decision. We're successful, and if Project Mango does in fact uh, choose our community to, to locate this huge facility in, their intention is to move quickly. The company won't name who, or we won't know who that company is until the summer. Now, that's if they move into Tallahassee. If they choose not to go to Tallahassee, well, then it'll take 12 months before we even know who's behind Project Mango. As for what's happening here locally, OEV has another meeting planned for Thursday. There is a community meeting for people near the construction or the proposed construction site for Wednesday, but it's all in the final hands of the county commissioners on if the construction could even continue. In Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, Jada. And taking a closer look at this proposal, the development is expected to bring thousands of jobs. Here's the breakdown. 3,600 jobs will come from this development directly and indirectly. 1,000 of those jobs will pay $15 an hour with $451 million economic impact in the community.